Hey guys, today we are going to look at graphing linear equations. We're going to answer the question, how do I graph linear equations in various forms? So the most basic form of line is slope intercept form. And this is a form that a linear equation can always be graphed in. So you can always convert the equation into slope intercept form by solving for y. And then we can graph with the slope and the y intercept. If you're given standard form, you can always convert it to slope intercept form. And you can also graph in standard form by plotting the x and the y intercepts because those are very easy to find in standard form. The x intercept is where y equals zero. So you would just plug in a zero there. And remember the x intercept is also called a zero. And then the y intercept in standard form is where x equals zero. So you would just plug in a zero to figure out the y intercept. Point slope form, you can convert it to standard form by solving for y, or you can plot the equation by plotting the point that they gave you and using the slope that they gave you. So let's graph these lines and then identify some key features of the line. So the first one is already in slope intercept form. So my slope is negative two. And then I can tell from the equation that the y-intercept is three. And I can go ahead and graph that line with that information. So my y-intercept is three, and then I need to plot a negative two slope. So I'm gonna go down two, right one, down two, right one, down two, right one. You could also go up two, left one. So there is my line. Okay, I have two other things I need to answer. The first one is the x-intercept. So I can tell that the x-intercept is in between one and two, but I cannot tell exactly what it is, so I'm gonna use the equation to solve for it algebraically. So remember the x-intercept is where y equals zero. So I'm gonna plug in zero to this equation and then solve for x to get the x-intercept. So first thing we need to do to solve for x is subtract three and I get negative three equals negative two x, and then divide by negative two. And negative three divided by negative two is three halves or 1.5. So my x-intercept is 1.5, which matches the graph in between one and two. Okay, then the next question is, is one one a solution? If it's a solution, it's a point on the line which that is a point on the line. So yes, one, one is a solution. All right, number two, we have the equation three y plus 15 equals x. So this isn't standard form or point slope form. So I'm just gonna go ahead and convert this into slope intercept form that I, so that I'm easy, able to easily graph this. So the first thing I need to do is subtract 15 from both sides. and I get three y equals x minus 15. And then the last thing I need to do to get y by itself is divide by three. So I get y equals x over three, that means I'd have a slope of one third, and then negative 15 divided by three is negative five. So now I can easily see that my y intercept is negative five and then my slope is one third. So let's go ahead and graph this line. My y-intercept is negative five, and then my slope is one third, so I go up one, right, one, two, three, and it looks like those are the only two points that are going to fit on this graph. Okay, then my line is not intersecting the x-axis at all, so my x-intercept is gonna be somewhere way over there, so I need to solve for it algebraically. So remember, the x-intercept is where y equals zero. So you can take either form, the original one, or you could take this one and substitute in y for zero. Since this is already set equal to x, I'm just going to take that equation and replace y with zero to determine the x-intercept. So instead of three y, it's three times zero plus 15 equals x. 
3 times 0 goes away, so 15 equals x. So my x-intercept is 15. Okay, the next question is negative 2, 5, a solution. No, it is not because that does not intersect my line and I can tell based on my line that will never intersect there. Okay, number three, I have an equation in standard form. So if we wanted to convert this to slope intercept form to graph it, we could. However, it's easy to determine the x-intercept and the y-intercept in standard form, and then all you need is two points to graph. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's start by finding the x-intercept. The x-intercept is where y equals zero. So to find the x-intercept, I'm going to do 3x minus 4 times 0 equals negative 12. That'll go away, so it's just 3x equals negative 12. So then when we divide by 3, we get that x equals negative 4. So the x-intercept is negative 4, which we can go ahead and plot that. All right, now I'm going to solve for the y-intercept. The y-intercept will be where x is 0, and then I can plot that and graph my line. So it'll be 3 times 0 minus 4y equals negative 12. So the 3 times 0, 0 is out, and I get negative 4y equals negative 12, and then we divide by negative 4, and negative 12 divided by negative 4 is 3. So my y-intercept is 3. And I'm going to plot that. And now I can see, can graph the line. Okay, then I need the slope of this line, which I graphed it. So now I can find the slope by doing rise over run. So the slope will be 1, 2, 3 for the rise and one, two, three, four for the run. So the slope is three fourths. Okay, then last question is three seven a solution. Well, three seven would be somewhere up here. I can't really tell. Um, actually, I can tell that that is not going to intersect the graph because three is already right here. However, I'm gonna prove it algebraically as well, just since I can't actually see it on the graph. This is an x value, this is a y value, so I'm going to plug it in right here and see if it makes the equation true or not. So 3 times 7, oh that's not right, the x value is 3, so it will be 3 times 3 minus 4 times 7 equals negative 12. So 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 7 is 28, let's see if it equals negative 12, 9 minus 28 is negative 19, which does not equal negative 12. So is 3, 7 a solution? No, and I just proved it with the equation, and then I can also see that that wouldn't be able to fit on the graph. Okay, last equation is in point slope form. So I can graph it with the slope, which I can see is two, and I have a point that they gave me here. The x value is negative 3, and the y value is positive 4. So let's start by plotting the point negative 3, 4, and then the slope is positive 2. So I'm going to go down to left 2 to make that positive slope. So there is the equation graphed. Okay, then the x-intercept, I can see on the graph it is negative 5. The y-intercept, I cannot see on the graph. It would be somewhere way up here. So what I'm going to do is convert the equation to slope-intercept form, and then I will be able to see what the y-intercept is. So I'm going to distribute, and I get y minus 4 equals 2x plus 6 and then I'm going to add 4, and I get y equals 2x plus 10, so that means the y-intercept is 10. And then is negative 3, 4 a solution? 
Yes, it was on the line. Also, that was the point from the original equation that they gave us.